What's up, laddies? A lot of people have been asking how to change like rims and tires on vehicles, so I've got to change out the rim on this Ranger, and I thought it was a good take, a good opportunity to record it and show you. So, um, first I'm just going to pull out the actual wheel itself, just because I don't need it. So we got this, but I want to keep the collision, so I just want to have a look that there for a sec. I'm going to go ahead and merge in the new wheel. That's a new wheel I'm using, just a different rim, basically. So now what I want to do is I just want to move it to the old position of the other wheel. So they, they basically look exactly the same. So I just got to line them all up basically as close as I can. Just like that. Now I'm just going to make sure it's lined up on the outside. Yeah, that's about right. Now what I want to do is I want to rename the old wheel to that. And I'm going to go ahead and move in the collision. And I just like to see if the wheel's actually set in the collision. So, if you can see it is, probably could do being a bit bigger, but that's fine. Is it set on the top? Yep, so it's perfectly in it, on the top as well. So, since it's in now, you have the opportunity to, or what you should do is you should select it and go to display, reset to weld, and then reset it to the local axis. So, you have the opportunity now to either create a copy of this and make a dummy node and that, so you have you can you can either basically just go like this, convert it to an LO, just like that, and it'll work perfectly fine. But most vehicles out there you'll you'll have them basically like this. So you go convert, copy, and then you go to this one, right click, convert to dummy, then you have this dummy here, so that's just connected to the local axis of the wheel. And then you just go convert to compound, lock, L0, drag it in. And and th that's it. So I know a lot of people have had a few different issues as well in wheel sections and that so with anything that's on a wheel other than the um the brake calipers like these has to be set to the material vehicle underscore tire to so see how all mine here are vehicle underscore tire so if you don't know how to set that you just go up to the year you click it your gta5 vehicle generic and you go vehicle underscore tire here so if you have a tire that's not really showing up or there's like you've got a, the, the outer part of the actual tire itself but not the rim, that could be a reason why. So just make sure all they're set to vehicle tire, uh, make sure all your s are set to vehicle tire and make sure that all your materials are set to however you want them. So I've got like my chrome here, um, so it's like a grey to blank normal, tile black, grey to, I'm going to change this. But other than that, that's how you do it, it's that simple. So, yeah, enjoy.